Hi guys, so today we're going to be having a look at the Urban Decay Vice Liquid Lipsticks. Now these retail for £15.50 in the UK and there are 20 shades available. I've actually only got one shade which is mad, which is this insane purple, sparkly, just glorious um, thing. As you can see it does go on a little bit sheer um, and almost a little bit patchy. Um, so I have got this on today, um, I have filmed me applying this, there was a little bit of work involved um, but you know, we're going to see how it holds out. So 20 shades, I have only bought one because um, quite frankly I don't have the money to go out and buy loads before knowing whether they're good. Um, so I will see how this works out today and then maybe look at expanding my collection of them depending how we get on. So. Packaging wise, it's got the, that same kind of textured thing that they do on their lipsticks. Um, similarly to their liquid eyeliners, the you know the handle end is much bigger than you would ordinarily expect. Most brands, when they're using like their doe foot applicator, their handles like that size, so you actually get quite a bit of um, area to grip and really get a good good control over the product, which I do like. I find it a bit weird that they've got this kind of gunmetal for the cap and then gold. Um, I wish they'd just done it gunmetal all the way down, but whatever, it's not my... I'm not in charge. Um, see what they say about it on their website as well. So it's a waterproof lipstick formula, so lifeproof, it's not going anywhere until you take it off. Just imagine the possibilities. But what makes Vice Liquid Lipstick different? Our high-tech formula provides longer lasting wear with zero transfer. Like our original formula, Vice Lip Liquid Lipstick lays down intensely pigmented colour and the comfortable non-drying wear sets apart from other liquid lipsticks. Oh, apparently there's um, 30 shades and two finishes. Uh, comfort Matte and Metalised. I'm pretty sure I've got a metalised one. Um, so, yeah, let's kind of have a look at how this goes. At the moment it feels very comfortable. I have layered up a little bit um, and it's had a few minutes to dry so I've got a tiny 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 bit of transfer um, but I did put on quite a few layers. So I will show you the application just now and you can decide for yourself. Okay so let's get this guy on. I have of course prepped my lips with a sugar scrub from Lush and a ton of lip balm while I was doing the rest of my makeup. So the shade we have is Mad. I'm going for a bit of a purple thing today. And I've got my little Anna Sui mirror just to get a really good close up look at how this is going. But I'm gonna zoom you guys in as well so that you can see close up how this applies. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I've still got a spot going on here, but let's ignore that. So, I haven't shook this up or anything. I feel like it's a little bit kind of sheer almost. Um, but then... Uh I feel like that's a little bit sheer. I'm going to kind of like swirl the wand around a little bit and mix it. So I do remember when I swatched this in the shop, I felt like there was a kind of an oily kind of as if it separated slightly. Um, and as far as I know, there's not any way of like shaking these up. There's not like one of the little metal balls in them. Um, let's try build this up. That's much better. Okay, so give these a little stir. <laughs> I 
Okay, I feel like this is a little bit of work to get this looking as even as I would like. And I actually don't really like this applicator being this shape. It's very, I don't know, I, like when I put it in and put it out, I feel like more product goes on that kind of inner edge, which is not good for getting on your lips. Okay, I'm going to leave that like that and let this dry. I do love this colour. I've got to love this colour. Oh, zoomed past my background. So I, I love this colour. Um, the application took a little bit of work, but to be honest, if this stays on all day, then that's fine. It's, you know, I'm either going to be reapplying a product all day or spending a little bit of extra time applying it. To me, that kind of balances out and I'm fine with that. So the time just now is 11.40, which is a very strange time to be doing my first check-in, but I slept in. Um, so I will check back in throughout the day and I am away to hunt for jobs just now because, you know, I'm, I'm so professionally made up today. <laughs> um, but yeah, I will see you guys in a bit. Hi guys, so I was just up filming my weekly makeup drawer video that went up yesterday and I figured since I was already here and in front of the camera, I might as well do a bit of an update on my lips. So the time now is 20 past three. Um, so it's been about three and a half hours since I had this on. Um, from a distance, I think it looks absolutely great still. It's very comfortable. Um, that being said, it is still a little bit sticky. So if I press my lips together, you know, I can, I can feel a bit of resistance when I'm moving them apart again. But zooming in, I have to say this doesn't look quite as perfect as some of the other liquid lipstick formulas I've used. Um, so let's get you all the way in so you can see. So my lip line just doesn't look great. And we've got a bit of patchiness going on. Uh, a bit of cracking there. Ooh, that's way too close for my teeth. Uh, so it's not looking ideal right now, so let's zoom out because that's not a pleasant view. So at the moment I'm, I'm undecided still, um, it's, it's a very comfortable formula. Perhaps it's the fact that this is one of the kind of metalised, very sparkly, you know, formulas that it will show up those imperfections a little bit more. Um, but, you know, I kind of expect better from Urban Decay. Uh, so we'll see how this goes. I'm not going to touch it up. We're just going to see kind of how it continues to wear. Um, in terms of eating and drinking, I've had a little bit of juice and I ate some Pringles because I'm a junk food maniac. Um, but, you know, nothing really greasy, not pizza or corn on the cob, which is the worst thing to eat when you've got, when you're testing a lipstick out. Uh, but I will continue to come back and we'll see how this is going. Hi guys, so I'm back for a check-in. It is now 10 past 8, um, so I've had this on for eight and a half hours. Um, I feel like this has got darker throughout the day, which is really weird, um, almost like a more vampy look than when I had it on. I might be imagining that. I'll need to check in editing and I'll post a little bubble with what I decide. Um, but let me see. Oh, wrong direction as usual. So I wouldn't say I've had particularly more fading than the last time. Maybe a wee bit worse in this corner. Um, it's definitely now at the stage where I would want to be touching up. Uh, so I'm calling this as the final check-in. Um, but what we are going to do is we are going to try reapplying and touching up this and just kind of seeing how it layers on top of itself. Um, just to kind of see whether you know, if you were out and about and you did get that wear, if you can fix it or if you need to be able to strip the whole lot off and start again, because uh, that is a bit of a factor for me. In fact, I've lost that whole corner I hadn't noticed. I 
Again, I feel like most of the products on the back of this applicator, which is weird. Actually, I feel like this is layered up quite nicely. Um, when I my lip line slightly there. But, um, yeah, I feel like that's went on quite well. It's not went particularly chunky or anything like that. Um, I do need to work on getting my lip line a little bit neater. Um, but, yeah, I think that looks quite good. Uh, what I would say about this is, it, remember I said earlier it was a little bit kind of still tacky feeling when I pressed my lips together? Um, what have I kicked there? Hmm. Um, eight hours on from putting this on, it was still feeling that way. So compared to some other liquid lipsticks, this is definitely a very moisturising formula. But it was still transfer proof because I was drinking juice and I could see that it wasn't on my glass. And you know I kind of kissed my hand earlier like a weirdo. Um, so I'm finding it really difficult to make a final decision on this one to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, I've wore liquid lipsticks that wore off far less than this one. Um, but they were possibly slightly less comfortable. So I can probably see myself buying this again if I can't find the colour in another formula. For example, if I'm looking at like a nude or a deep wine red or a bright red, you know, I'm probably going to find that shade within Kat Von D, whose liquid lipsticks I love. I don't find them particularly uncomfortable and they last really, really well on me. And I also prefer the applicator. However, from what I've seen, she's never had any colours like this. Um, you know, nothing with the, the shimmer and everything that this has. So, I don't want to say that it's like a, a bad product. Um, I'm definitely going to use it again. I love the colour. But it's not going to be my number one choice for liquid lipstick. If a shade's available in another brand, Kat Von D specifically, I'm going to go for that. Um, because I find it easier to apply and it lasts a little bit longer. But definitely check these out if you're looking for some more out there colours. Um, and yeah, I am happy that I bought this and some of the other colours I might still look at because I can't find them elsewhere. So if you've got any questions about this, uh, please leave those down below. Um, or if you have recommendations for any other liquid lipsticks that are cruelty free, uh, let me know and I will get those checked out. And I will speak to you guys later. Bye.